Good evening, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Thursday, February 1st, 2007, and we're going to take a look at some stocks for trading on Friday. I've got uh, Bar Pharmaceuticals on the screen right now, symbol BRL, and you can see that the stock has just recently broken past some resistance here at about the 53 and a half level. You can also see that we've got a nice little uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern, if you want to count this as a, a small right shoulder over here, which would give us a bullish upside objective of 48 to 53, about five points from there, so about $58 a share. Now, if you're an investor, that might be your price target. Ours is going to be a lot lower than that, as we'll see in a moment here. But if we look at the weekly time frame, it's looking pretty bullish there as well. So here's how I'd like to see this stock set up tomorrow. First, I'd like to see it pull back to about $54 a share. You can see it had a little bit of a uh, late day strength in there. So I'd like to see that uh, at work itself off by pulling back a little bit first. And once it's done that, we then buy some strength above $54.20. A stop could go at about $53.75, which would give us 45 cents of risk. And our price target is going to be up here at about 55 and a half, which would be $1.50 away for that 45 cents worth, worth of risk. So our next stock is going to be a two, or actually $3.95 stock, a company called Copen, symbol K-O-P-N. Copen, Copen, I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyways, the stock's looking pretty bullish here. You can see the break past this resistance at about the 385 level, where it did also get above that 200-day moving average as well. Now we've got the 10-day above the 20, which is above the 50, and they're all advancing. So we've got a nice bullish-looking stock here. And on the weekly time frame, you can see it looks like the stock has some room to run in here. What I'd like to see the stock do would be to break out past $3.95 and purchase it on that strength. A stop could go at about $3.84, so right down about here. Um, and we could actually raise that up a little bit. Let's call it three eighty eight dollars for our stop. So that would give us a risk in this case of about $0.07 cents a share. Um, and I'm looking for the stock to move up to about $4.40 a share. So $0.45 cents of potential upside for about $0.07 cents of risk in KOPN. Yahoo reported earnings last week, and the stock responded positively. It's held w held on to those gains fairly well in here. It's also struggling with this 200-day moving average. With you, if you look at the weekly time frame, um, it looks like a big shakeout underneath these lows, and perhaps getting above that $30 level, this stock could really start to see some uh, strength develop. What I'd like to see happen for Yahoo would be a breakout play again above the afternoon highs of 28.55 if we could buy it above 28.55 our stop would then go at about $25.28 so that's a risk of 27 cents and we'll look for it to go actually to 29 and a half dollars a share so that would be uh, 95 cents of potential upside for 27 cents of theoretical risk here Adobe Systems ADBE is looking like it's starting to have some troubles here. We've got the 10-day moving average below the 20, below the 50. The 50-day moving average is declining, so consider the stock guilty till proven innocent. And w for a play in here, I think we could sell it short below $38.45. Our stop would then go at $38.95, so that's about $0.50 cents of risk. And I'd look for the stock to move down to about 37.25. So for 50 cents of risk, would you be willing to, or would you be willing to risk 50 cents to make a dollar 20 in a stock that is, you know, near highs but breaking down and in an overall bull market? In other words, it's not a high probability setup, so be careful with it.